section, we will test LoRa data connection with the simple test code on our board. Firstly, we will log in to our GIOT MQTT account from vendor for LoRa service. And we will bind our LoRa module, LoRa module on broker and we will keep the credentials. Then we'll set up credentials on MQTTFX. Then we need to download the code from uh, GitHub. Then we upload to device. Then we receive the data from MQTTFX. Okay, so let's go. Let's log into our account. I assume that you have your own account when you purchase the module. Okay, go to the console. Okay, so we have account information over here. As you can see, there is a host name here. That will be an IP address, poll number 80, and client topic. And client ID over here that, you know, we, we don't use that a lot. And username and password. I believe you have your own unique information. The next, we'll need to bind our module with the broker. Okay, as you can see that I already have three module binded. Okay. So you should buy your own. We will need two information, two data. One is MAC address, one is PIN. Okay, so where can we get that? It will be from the module. So that's, let me show you, where is it? Okay, so if you look at your module, you're gonna see a MAC address on the right corner, okay? And you're gonna see a pin number over here, okay? So that will be, that's two data will be entered to here, okay, and here to bind the module, okay? So I assume that uh, you have your own setup already. So let's go to our MQTTFX to set up our MQTT account, okay? Open up MQTTFX. No, no update. Okay, and click here. And you were, uh, let me choose if I need the new profile. I would use LoRa, choose LoRa broker. And this information, I have the broker. Remember the IP address we just saw, and port 80, and I will let you generate. For the user credential part, okay, you just enter your own. I have a account number here, okay, and password.
OK and press OK. Let's come back to make sure that the information is well set up. Again, OK. OK. When I press connect, OK, it should connect with the broker. OK, as you can see that uh, if they show green line. Okay, so that's test the data. Okay, go to the subscribe tab. Remember that we need to subscribe the data in particular channel. So we call the topic. Press subscribe. Okay, as you can see that uh, you know, it's already subscribed successfully. Okay, and thus try to publish some dummy data. I will call GGGG as my test data, and I want to publish to this topic. Okay, so if I do that, that means that the uh, this tab will receive the same data that I publish. Okay, so I will fire four data and let's try that. One, two, three, four. Okay, and I expect that I receive four data over here. So that means that uh, my broker is already set up. Okay. Okay, so the next one, we will move to our Arduino code. Okay, so please go to github.com. Okay, so that will be the address that you will go github.com and and search link it link it one Laura test okay as a search keyword when you enter of course you find one over here but in case you have searched more than one, you have to pick the folder under how or when. So that will be the version that I put. Okay. When then enter this folder, you are going to see a code over here. INO dot INO will be the file for Arduino. Okay. So enter here, you're going to see the code. Let me explain a little bit. You're going to see that uh, it's a very, very simple code. Okay, it's just uh, open open uh, the port, the uh, serial port number one. Okay, and it gives the command AT plus DTT, DTX, that means send six, uh, six byte data to the server. Okay, and uh, they were sent uh, 62, uh, uh, one package in 62 seconds. Okay, uh, for saving our, our time, I will copy this code to our Arduino IDE, or you can download okay, the code from here. Okay, so I just save us some time. Let's go to here and let's copy that. Okay, for saving some time, I already have the code set up over here. Okay, and if the hardware is correctly sent the data to our broker, then we can expect that 
we can receive the data sample code like this. Okay, so let's try that. Let me connect. Let me connect my device. Okay, let me connect my device to Excuse me. Okay. As you can see that uh, it's connected. Okay. And uh, the LED is on. Okay. We don't use it for now. And we will send the date upload Okay, as you can see that uh, it's in process. Okay, and you will receive two sounds. Okay, so that means that it's uh, already uploaded. Okay. So uh, let's see if we can receive the data. Okay, so if the code is successfully uploaded, we can expect that we receive a sample data like this, which is JSON data, JSON format data. Okay. And uh, that means that uh, uh, our hardware is already set up and the server is working. And our board can communicate with the server. As you can see that uh, it, it received uh, three data packets already because it will generate one data in 62 seconds as our code said. Okay, so that will be all. So uh, we will move to the next section. Thank you.